So this is a guitar we're working on. We got to glue a top on this, which is going to be about three quarters of an inch thick. And the last time I did this, actually the best way to do this is actually glue everything up before you join them in the center. Glue, you know, if you're going to glue like three pieces of wood together like this, where they're still square before they're cut out, I glue three pieces together, then cut them out and glue them together, or glue them together, then cut the body out. But I'm doing it like backwards. So we got the bottom piece and a center piece on. Now we're getting ready to glue a top piece on. But the last time I tried it like this, I was using my little, um, I don't even got nothing now. But yeah, I just had one a minute ago. These things. I was using these clamps here. And the problem with that is, you know, if you're sitting on like this, you put a clamp on, then it goes in that far. You know, if you put a clamp on this side, then it comes in this far. So you got all this area in here that's not getting no, really no pressure. So you're relying on your outside clamps like this. Now up here it's not as bad, but you're still not getting into the center. Especially back here. Stuff like that, you're not getting, you know, this area right here is not getting no clamping at all. So, I'm going to come up with a clamp, or make a clamp. It's going to hopefully give me a lot better clamping um, than this. So what we're doing is we're going to measure how wide we want to make it. Now this is the guitar is 13 and we're going to say a quarter. It's not quite a quarter, but 13 and a quarter at the widest point. Okay, so we got bolts and um, we're going to make, um, let's see, we've got Five or six clamps. We're gonna make five or six clamps. See how many bolts I got. I'll tell you how many clamps we're gonna make. Two, three, five, six, ten. We're gonna make five clamps. So five clamps. So I need to know how wide to make them. So if this thing's thirteen and a quarter, say, when we make them sixteen. It's gonna give us that much. I would say 18 inches. 18 inches. We're going to make them 18 inches wide. Five clamps, which will put you a clamp. This thing is uh, about 17 inches. So every two or three inches, there'll be a clamp. Five might not be enough. We might have to make six. We'll make as many as we need, though. But we're just going to basically do the show you how I'm going to make these clamps. And hopefully, it's going to work out. So. Stay tuned for that if you want to know how to make a cool set of clamps for doing something like this. Or for doing something where you're gluing something together and you can't get clamps in, it's like a distance, you know, like this where there's a bunch of space in between. Because it sucks whenever you got clamping pressure on the outside and everything's tight. And then on the inside, there's no clamping pressure at all and it gaps or something like that. And then you, you stand it away and you can see a little crack where the, there was no pressure coming down on it. So I got five boards here that are 18 inches long. That's the size I went with. Um, you can go with any size you want, but if you're going to do a guitar body like I'm doing, and it's like this, you know, like that, that's going to cover pretty much. I could have went probably 16 inches, but the way I'm doing it, it would have been really tight. If 16 inches would have, wouldn't have gave me a lot of room, overhang on each end, 18 inches. Gives me plenty of room to play with. So, five boards, 18 inches long. This is a two by four. I just took two by fours and cut them to 18 inches. So, now what we're going to do is take this over to the table saw. We're going to cut every one of these in half. So, we're going to.
So now what we got is 10 pieces of 2x4 that are 18 inches long and about an inch and a half wide. Something like that. Close to that anyways. So now what we gotta do, we gotta come back to it, we gotta drill some holes on the outside. We're gonna come in about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. We're gonna drill some, um, my bolt's 5 sixteenths. So I'm gonna drill a couple 5 sixteenths holes, everyone gets them. If I got the bottom pieces, I got them drilled on both sides. We came in about an inch and a half and then centered them as close as we could. So on the bottom, we drilled the holes out to a 3 8 hole. Even though the bolts we're using are 5 sixteenths. And the reason I did that is I'm using um, one of these. They're called T-nuts, I think. They look kind of like that. And even though we're using a 5 sixteenths bolt, the outside diameter of that is 3 eighths of an inch. 3 eighths of an inch holes on the bottoms. And then we're going to drill on the tops. We're going to drill... Probably drill a little bit bigger than 5 16th, like a 16th or so bigger, so the bolts will go down through and slide in the proper way. So now we just got to install these T nuts. We are about done with our clamps. We've got our bottom pieces with our T nuts in it. We've got our top pieces drilled out. Um, we drilled about the 5 16th, but they were a little tight, so I went about a 16th bigger on that. So now we're ready to put these things together. We got flat washers go on the clamp itself. Clamp slides or the bolt, not the clamp, goes on the bolt. Washer goes on the bolt, slides down through, get a bottom. The T nut goes on the bottom itself, slides down in, and should screw into place, leaving you a gap. Something like that. And that's about where we start at. And I got these bolts screwed in to where they're just about flush. Okay. So in theory how this is going to work is. You're going to take your. My guitar body. Like this. And I'm going to lay it inside here like this. Then I'm going to put my. Three quarter inch cap. Which I don't got cut right now. But. We'll pretend we got a three quarter inch cap on there. And then what we'll do is position it where we want it to go. We'll take a ratchet or a wrench or whatever. We'll just start going down on this thing like that. And we'll keep tightening these bolts down until it's completely tight. Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. Just a quick little clamp that should work. Um, and you can use this for anything that's gonna be wide like that if you wanna do now, if you're doing the veneer, it probably ain't going to work. You know, if you're going to try to glue a veneer on, you probably want to get a vacuum bag or something like that. But for thicker tops, if you're going to, like, glue a quarter-inch top on or, or you're going to glue stuff on in between, you know, this would be pretty cool. Another cool thing you could do is um, make them shorter and radius the bottom for gluing uh, fretboards on to necks, which would be a pretty cool project. Make them, you know, half the distance. Make them, you know, cut them like here. Put two bolts put a small radius to fit the top of the fretboard or if you're doing a flat fretboard and you haven't radius it yet then just put them over top tighten them down and you could clamp on and put them down the length of a neck and do a fretboard clamp I might actually do that that'd be pretty cool so anyways that's gonna do it just a quick and simple set of clamps I'm gonna need on my next project you'll see me using these in the next video and I guess we'll find out how good they really work so I got five of them hopefully that'll be enough um, thanks for watching. Go into the comment section. Give me a comment. Like, share, all that good stuff. Remember, we're, st we're still doing live streams on Saturday nights. About around 7 o'clock they're going to start. So if you want to stop by and ask a question, just hang out. Stop on by. That'd be pretty cool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.